Disclaimer, if you know the 40k lore, this video will probably give you an aneurysm. Pimps, look at your peaches, now back at mine, now back to your peaches, now back to me. Sadly, you aren't me. But if you stop playing Last of Us 1.5 and start playing Space Marine, you could be. Look down, back up, you're on the battlefield. A battlefield you could be on if you weren't crying and shaking at the absolute triumph. That is, Last of Us Part 2. You don't even know why you're here. All you know is that anything other than man is to be destroyed. And these damn great skins don't look very badly to me, my brother and the Emperor. Look left, look right, now back at me. This is the gun you could have rattling your teeth and injecting you with testosterone if you weren't returning. You see this handheld cannon? You see that space marine? Neither do I. Look behind you, now back at me. Do yourself a favor, pimp. Grasp the chain. Sword. Feel the fuzz grow in. Feel your biceps grow larger. Feel the testosterone rush into your body. Like the great flood! Bye, Space Marine. Do it, if not for yourself, for your lineage. Space Marine is much like myself, a little shorter than the average, but has enough enthusiasm to provide the experience of a game that is much longer. It's seven hours of bloodshed, lead, and screaming. It's a game that is unrelenting, and it's focus on fun. The type of game that you could show to a friend and you wouldn't have to explain the deep and philosophical payoffs of some dick-shriveling story. You could just show them an orc being thrashed with a chainsword, or a Chaos Marine getting pulverized through his bulky armor, and your friend would immediately knock you out, take the game, and start a high-speed chase on the way home to play it. And now, although I could keep going on this structure, this rant, the voices in my head are advising that I at least try to make my unbridled love of this game somewhat comprehensible. So let's roll it! Fall the Let's get this story out of the way. Essentially, the damn orcs, aka the Greenskins, aka the British, had the bright idea to take a shot at colonialism again and are invading a planet the Imperium has dedicated entirely to weapon manufacturing, aka a forge world. Some other Xenos do appear later, but listen, there's no need to dive deep on all them because they all share the same problem. Existence. And we are the cure. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, the less intense methods had to be suggested, like going full Gandhi and glassing the entire planet. However, we needed this planet, and we really hate Xenos. Hence, the big boars are deployed. Also, this cuck. You're a space marine, technically an ultramarine. And I'm not gonna read the wiki to you, you can do that yourself. I will openly admit that I don't know shit about 40k, but here is my brief summary from what I do understand. I hate the Xenos. I hate the heresy. I hate the orcs. I ain't racist. Just don't like them. All right, maybe just a little racist. Love me, Emperor. Love me duty. Simple as. If Satan ever declared war on the Emperor, then the Space Marines would be deployed to dispatch him. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They were genetically born and bred to pull the trigger. And, and you know what? Let's just get to the gameplay. You get it. Space Marine is like the bastard son of Gears of War and God of War in terms of combat. You have the chonk, guns, God bless, and very occasional reliance on cover. If you're a little bitch. But also the pure hitting shittery and circle takedowns from God. God of War. In fact, the takedowns in this game are almost as awesome as God of War. And I say almost because my brother in the Emperor's PTSD keeps flaring up. And he keeps taking five goddamn minutes to rearrange Orc's guts. And, and this isn't Hog or Saints Row where the AI declare peace for those five minutes. No, this is a man's game. This is Wog's legacy. You start a takedown and your Marine will finish that takedown regardless of how many British people are stabbing you with bullets. And if this turns you away from doing takedowns, then I guess you'll just never become a man, because that is the only way to heal in this game. That's right, Space Marines heal by inflicting pain on others. They're the original Sigma males. So just, so just don't feel bad about it, all right? You just don't think about it. Just remember, son, the only good green skin is a dead one. 
And now that I've got you on homicide, I will admit that I lied. You also have Spartan Rage that regens your health, so there is that. Then you have the cross gene from both of these games, which is the gene that makes it better than TRT. The gene that, after playing this game for 15 minutes or more, chisels your jawline, straightens out your posture, poses your peaches, and shoots you up with enough jet to go fight an exotic animal. That rare, perfect hybrid found only in Vanquish and the Elantra. Jesus, I just need another hit, come on, I just need another hit, man. And now that you know the broad strokes, let's get to the plata y bromo. For starters, the chainsword is the best thing since the Emperor created the bolt gun. But before we talk about the chainswords to whatever big brother the Ministry of Love sends to manually review this video, I love you, pimp. I love you strong. Please let me have this. This weapon doesn't have a bad takedown. They're all equally brutal and beautiful. If you say this weapon is bad, then you can go fuck yourself because there is no such thing as a bad chain sword, just a bad owner. Speaking of bad things, you also have me mallet, AKA the bonking stick. Usually we use this on Imperial Guardsmen when that slanussy casts a spell on them. But in this case, we just use it to control the riots. Unfortunately at the cost of two weapon slots though, which makes this weapon completely bunk because then where would I put the heavy bolter? The heavy bolter, for those of you that don't know, is the ultimate man's weapon. The heavy bolter is like an LMG, except due to the fact that this isn't an online game, they can give it the RPM of an SMG without anyone pissing and crying their pants that it's OP. And if that's too many acronyms for you to understand, I get it. Here's a better explanation for you. This gun solves problems at a remarkable rate. Now, other than that, I do fully endorse the use of the Melta gun. I do not understand how this thing cooks, but it just does. I remember they played a whole cutscene for this really cool looking Chaos Marine, but then as soon as it ended, a boom, 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 boom! You just heard fire, you bully, a wild looking bitch! And for dessert, anytime you see one of these bad boys out there, Oh, don't even think twice. Pick this up and let it rip. You've heard of lawn mowing guns? Well, this is a planetary mowing gun. It's like firing a handheld cannon, and that's because that is exactly what this is, actually. And you may be wondering, Fleek, where does all the recoil go? Pimp! Into their biceps that are the size of a human skull. I don't think I've felt a better gun in my life than Big Bertha here. Now, now there are other guns, but listen. If they were special, I would have told you about them. Uh, except for the grenade launcher. I forgot about that one. That is a very good one. Until you launch all of your grenades at an enemy and then they charge right at you and they blow up in your face. But everything else, including that laser sniper, forget about it. And I know Badger likes the laser sniper. I've seen his video many times. But I'm lead gang for life, baby. Only time I wait for my gun is for marriage. God bless. Anyways, moving on, I want to take a moment to appreciate linear games. Instead of making an 8-hour game into a 40 five hour one as is the meta these days space marine made a 20 hour game into an eight hour one this game is like one giant war filled hallway there's no helping some old lady find a pot no finding someone's caged kid or picking 20 flowers for someone's floral arrangement this game starts middles and ends with you fully entrenched in hell. They even have infinite ammo turrets shooting at an infinite supply of orcs that are storming the trenches just so you feel the atmosphere of hell. Now, did I spend 10 minutes trying to kill all of these orcs before I realized it wasn't the objective? Yes. However, as I was saying, there are no side roads, no lollygagging. You are sent here to purge the unclean, and the game doesn't want you to do anything but that. It doesn't even let you think about anything but that. Even the dialogue just talks about that. Man shit right there. And that's my other point. This game's dialogue goes hard. Now I'm guessing this takes place before Dawn of War 2 where they started yelling every line they had because in this game, it's mostly just calmly dropping the hardest lines you've ever heard. Sergeant, I see you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. I'm not ashamed to say I got a half chub when I heard... Something about the one-liners in this game just feel invigorating. Now, the only con I have for this game is that there are two boss fights, and both of them are lame. The first boss has two moves, charge and melt your retinas. Then the second boss, and this is a spoiler coming, is a quick time event. 
What the hell are we doing here, Relic? More importantly, look at your peaches, then back at mine. Through the pure contact high, you've become more of a man. But now just think, think of what is possible if you shell out $15 when this game goes on sale so that you too can get blown up by bunk-ass 40k dogs with dynamite strapped to their back. And if you buy this game, Beth might just come back. Your dog might listen to you, and your boss might just give you that big raise. What? You don't like this game? What planet did you say you lived on? Oh, let me look that up. Hmm. Interesting. Look at me. Look up. I tried my best. Red. Have fun in hell. And if Space Marine 2 doesn't have that slanussy, then buy the Emperor there next!